Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. About six topics for this video. The first one, I think the Russians are preparing a massive missile attack on Ukraine. Why? They got uh, a great number of vessels in the Black Sea armed with caliber cruise missiles. Those are seven vessels with a potential of 48 caliber cruise missiles to be launched. Whenever they have this kind of big mass of ships in the Black Sea, usually uh, there's a massive attack prepared. Next one. Well, 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 the French is uh, say they will provide Ukraine with Mirage 2000 fighter jets. Well, are they good? Well, if you ask the Americans about the French, they will say, <laughs> when was the last time they won a war? Anyway, let's move on. We're going to discuss that. We have three articles coming from uh, uh, Russia Today, from Ukrainska Pravda, and from the new voice of Ukraine. And we're going to discuss this Dessault Mirage 2000. See when it was designed. <laughs> is it new? Is it old? Why is it called 2000? It's old. Now, NATO openly preparing for conflict with Russia. This is according to Moscow. Now, if, if a nuclear armed country says, I have an enemy who's getting ready to actively fight me, what would you do? I know what the Americans did. Uh, preemptive strikes. All right, let's move to the next uh, topic. We find out, I uh, not find out, I think it's a confirmation. And even if it's com coming from the Russia, I don't think any baboon, even the baboons would, would challenge what I'm about to say. US and UK train or helped train, actually they trained the Ukrainian special forces to do some um, sabotage activities on nuclear power plants, Russian. That is, they want to destroy it, cause a little problem for Europe only, for Europe. We're going to discuss that. I have two articles on that one. And we find out, again, according to the Russians, that there are some secret talks to end the Ukraine war. I mean, we've heard about these things over and over. I think that's a continuum. I think it happened, it's been happening, is happening and will happen. Behind the scenes, there's a lot of uh, negotiations. I'm 100% certain on that one. I don't have the evidence, but the evidence is just experience, logic, and uh, human psychology, and many more. Doesn't mean, let's say, it's 100%, but I go 99.9. .9. Well, we have a Ukrainian sabotage damages a Russian ship in Kaliningrad, in Russia, by the Baltic Sea. And we have also a map to show you where that is. So let's start with the first one. This is according to Ukraine Forum, the Ukrainian media outlet. And this is from today, the 8th, the 8th, the 8th, the 8th, the 8th of October 2024. Russia keeps seven caliber carriers armed with 48 cruise missiles in Black Sea. As of 6 o'clock a.m. on Tuesday, today, October 8th, there are 16, 16 not only seven, seven caliber carriers, 16 Russian warships in the Black Sea, seven of which are caliber cruise missiles carriers with a total volley of up to 48 missiles. Well, what do you think would be that? There are no enemy warships in the Sea of Azov. Where is that located? Let me show you this on this map that stayed over there, unfortunately. And this is the Black Sea. This is the Crimean Peninsula. This is the Sea of Azov. So nothing here, all there. Why? Well, I think these guys are planning an attack. So remember, 16 Russian warships with seven armed with caliber cruise missiles, about 48 potentially. Now, let's look at this garbage here. New voice of Ukraine. This is from four hours ago, again, today, October 8th, 2024. Ukraine to receive. French Mirage fighter jets in early 2025. Defense Minister, that means what? Early 2025 could be January, right? So it could be January, February, March, maybe April. March in the first three months. Le Cornu specified that the delivery is planned for the first quarter of 2025 and the jets will be equipped with the latest combat and electronic warfare protection systems. Wow. 
So that means when they will be shut down by the Russians, there will be no excuses this time. Hmm? Anyway, uh, I brought a toy. You want to play? Oh my God. Not hungry, just want some attention, the little fucker. Where are you? You wait for me behind a desk? <laughs> Oh, you're two here, baby doll? Oh, stay there. <laughs> All right, so, well, the best ones. Let's go to the next article regarding the same issue. Ukrainska Pravda. France promises to deliver Mirage fighters to Ukraine early. Oh, there he is. There he is. I'll just circle around. All right, like Psaki. Remember Jen Psaki? I'll circle back to you. The freaking White House press spokes a woman oh my god or whatever she identifies i don't give a shit oh there you have them these are the one winged french has started stated that it will provide ukraine mirage with mirage 2000 fighter jets next year all right so how many all right so these are the best when that will happen oh, oh by the way who's gonna pilot those hey right there he added that training of Ukrainian pilots and mechanics is currently underway. I personally don't think that it will be any Ukrainian sitting at the cockpit of, of those mirages. With the latest technology on those, I don't think, I don't believe that Z zero possibilities, probabilities, possibilities. I don't want to say 1% because I don't believe in 1%. It's going to be no, no, it's not going to be it. Remember, let's say a Ukrainian trained pilot of a Mirage, he's going to just decide, oh, let's go to Russia. And goes to Russia, let's say, communicates, this is me, these are coordinates, don't shoot, don't shoot, I'm coming over, right over. over. Take takes a big chance. Unless he just already uh, figured it out. You think it's impossible? Remember that Russian helicopter who landed, which landed in Ukraine? Mm -mm 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 -mm. And the pilot was then in uh, Spain. Remember that one? So don't tell me, oh, you're going to be shut down. If you fly low enough you and you speak with the right people, you bring it to Berlin if you want. So do you think it's going to be operated by Ukrainians? I don't think so. And then there will be no more excuses like the one F-16 that this guy, these guys claim. It's just, you know, just, um, I know, an accident or something. And actually, they're not like the Abrams tanks. Abrams 1 tanks, American supplied. They didn't have the... Uh, top-notch uh, technology installed on it. So that means you endangered the Ukrainians' tank crews lives. Why? Because you gave them a garbage to go and fight the latest technological uh, whatever weapon technology, most advanced technologically advanced uh, Russian weapons. Oh no, the Russians are still using nails to build airplanes. My god, and baboons believe it. So let's see the next article coming from the Russians. Russia Today. France reveals Ukraine fighter jet plans. The transfer Mirage could begin the first half of 2025. So the same thing. Traparlapa, Kapatsapa. And there is. So the Mirage 2000 is compatible with the British French Storm Shadow Scalp, cru scalp cruise missiles that the two nations have already supplied to Ukraine. Kiev has been seeking permission to fire these long range weapons at targets deep inside Russia. Moscow has warned. It would consider any attacks of this nature as coming directly from NATO. What does that mean? Hmm? What does that mean? That means that as the Russians change their um, nuclear weapons use doctrine, they could uh, attack NATO, or not attack, in self-defense. You know, they could uh, hit NATO targets, I don't know, Berlin, London. Paris, whatever they, they think. Or maybe they will start close uh, with, uh, let's say, uh, what's that called? Warsaw, Poland. Maybe they're going to start with uh, the Baltic states. Not Romania, because at that time Romania will be up. But hey, Romania has the biggest uh, NATO airfield in Europe in uh, Kogalniciano, Mikhail Kogalniciano Air Base in Dobroja by the Black Sea, by Constanza. We all know it, so they will be blown up in the first strike. So here you have my friends with these guys. And that gets me to the article that I will discuss a little bit later. And here. This is coming from the Russians, Russia Today. NATO openly preparing for conflict with Russia. That's exactly what it is with these garbages 
saying this. French reveals Ukraine fighter jets. And they say, well, we're going to do this. Consider any attacks of this nature. So if the French, let's say, operate or give, let's, let's play baboons. Let's play full retard for a second or two. I know I'm playing almost full retard at times here because you have to. Otherwise, YouTube will think that uh, you know shit and you can't have that. So let's say um, that the Ukrainian pilots in self-defense, because the country was attacked, uh, unprovoked by the evil Russians who imperialistic power, they want to take over the world like Adolf, okay? Not by the Al Capone, no, 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 who has 740 military bases and, uh, you know, deployments over the world. No, no, that's not imperialistic. The Russians are, right? So, so this guy's going to fly and uh, they're going to use the... Um, scalp missiles underneath gonna go high up in ukraine psst, somewhere deep inside russia and the russians will do what exactly they said we're gonna consider that a nato attack do you understand what's going on even from the baboons who are fed the imbecility that they won't do it as i said before let's say a um, criminal with a handgun approaches you in the middle of the night right and you are with your children with your family and he comes about, I don't know, two meters from it, three meters. That means you can't grab him, you can't do anything. And he points a gun at you. And you look and say, ha, ha, ha. And he said, well, give me your money. Otherwise, I'm going to queue up. And your wife uh, looks good. Okay, I take her too. So he's going to say that and say, uh, let me see what gun you got. Oh, ha, he's got an old gun, man. No, take it. Beat it, man. Let's go. Would you do that because he have an, has an old gun? Or maybe because that guy, the way he said it, he was not trustworthy. Let's say he said, ha, give me your wife too and give me the money, man. Oh, the kids, this guy is kidding. Let's go. Would you ignore that? Or you say, wait, 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 wait a minute. We just go towards punching him? What do you want? What do you want? You're all over the place. The cat around their tail. All right. So I would not take a chance with that. The same thing with these guys with nuclear weapons. These guys try to get us the commoners, the plebeians, into a war with Russia, with their plebeians. And the guys in charge, they have, they have their ass covered. Don't worry about that one. Only you and I would be the ones that are going to see the um, incoming missiles or the lights at the horizon. You know what I mean? Let's see this Mirage bullshit. The, the Salt Mirage 2000. It's a, multi, it's a French multi-role single-engine Delta Wing fourth generation jet manufactured by the salt aviation it was de designed in the in the late 1970s this is all right as a lightweight fighter to replace the mirage 3 right there and this is the mirage single engine it has two air big shit here and, and that one engine so let's see Parapacapa, chupucopo. manufactured from 78 to 2007, so that means there's no more. They don't make it anymore. In 2000, they retired it. Introduction, 1984. That means it was designed uh, six, seven, eight years before that. That's usually how it happens. First flight in 78. That means it was probably designed in 72. It started 71, 72. So it's an old garbage plane. But hey, you say, you know what? It's uh, updated with all the necessary things. Okay, well, we will see. Next one. NATO preparing, right, with hot conflict, right, preparing for conflict with Russia, Moscow says. I think that's 100% accurate. The US-led military bloc is choosing the path of confrontation, according to Deputy Foreign Minister Alexander Grushko. NATO is no longer hiding that it is gearing up for a potential military conflict with Russia. This guy said, put, pointing to the years steadfast defense drills, the bloc's largest maneuvers since the end of the Cold War. The US-led military bloc has been expanding eastward for decades, despite assurances given to the Soviet Union in a run-up to German reunification in 1990 that it would not do so. Well, a gentleman agreement was uh, ungentlemanly broken. Russia has repeatedly described the expansion towards its borders as a threat to its security. And what did this guy say? You're weak. We don't talk to you. Go home and clean your um, house. Speaking to Ria Novosti on Tuesday, Grushko said that, and I'm quoting, now NATO representatives have stopped hiding that they are preparing for a potential armed clash with Russia. Remember they said they are getting ready to, to remove potential wounded people from the front line in the case of fighting the Russians? Massive 
Massive. What does that mean? They're ready. They're getting you ready. Not me. I'm far away, United States of America, as Al Capone is doing just fine, working with you against the Russians. So you, the European baboons, are going to fight for guys that probably at one point we will be used if these guys say, hey, hold on, it's coming towards us. The Russians don't need to go to Washington, D.C. They don't need to go to uh, uh, the political system. They have to go to the economic system. If they, I don't know, talk to, let's put it nicely, talk to the banking system, international banking system, or the major industrial complex of the United States of America, which is not the, the Pentagon necessary, it's the guys behind that make weapons. They got orders from the Pentagon to supply weapons and they got big bucks. You got to talk to those. Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, even Rheinmetall in Germany, if they and Boeing. And then they go to the big, I don't know, ExxonMobil and other companies that are in the business of supplying, uh, how do you call it, uh, en the energy sector. If the Russians would go to those guys, not to the governments, because the governments do what they were told to by this interest. So they would go and take care of, which is talking to, some of these guys, just talk to them. You say, guys, come on, please stop. And, I, and those guys will say, yes, we're going to stop. Then you stop the war. Until then, people like you and I and others, I don't know who you are, but nevertheless, will be dying, will be refugees, and some big cats over there will make a big profit on our misery. Russian misery, Ukrainian misery, European misery, American misery. Who are these people? We know who they are. They know better than us who they are or than we. That's what they have to do. And I'm quoting, regional defense plans have been approved. I said this many, and it doesn't mean that these guys tell the truth, but this is the conclusion I reached many, many years back. Regional defense plans have been approved. Concrete tasks for all the bloc's military command structures have been formulated. Possible options for military action against Russia are being continuously worked out. All this Ukraine garbage it was not planned on the, after the 24th of February 2022, when the Russians unprovoked uh, attack uh, on Ukraine. No, no, not then. It was before that. All these things with, are we going to provide howitzers to Ukraine? Are we going to provide javanils, javanis? Uh, are we going to do this? Are we going to provide uh, armored vehicles? Um, are we going to provide long range, short range missile systems, Patriot, high Mars tanks and airplanes to Ukraine? Or should we? That was long ago decided. They just went to the to the process of informing the baboons, playing the games with the help of the media, their media. Why? Who owns it? Who are the bigger, big shareholders? Do you think you and I? No, some big corporations. So obviously that they own it. If I pay for that and I have the biggest, like Musk, isn't Musk considered the owner of, of Twitter? He's got like 20% of the shares, 20, and he's the owner. But in, in the, let's say, MSNBC or Fox News, the Murdoch family, and please leave me there. You know? All these things have been made, the plan, just implement what is already done and ju just adjust here and there uh, according to the Russian responses. That's what happens. They know it. It's been done. Like the defense of the United States of America. There are many plans according to many scenarios. If that happens, and I hope it doesn't happen, they just take the file out and which is going to do, and then they tweak it. It depends who attacks in what forms, and they have it all this done. There are people who think about it, who plan it, unless they're baboons. Now, with the DEI, diversity, equity, inclusion could be, you know, but never, let's see what, this, what else this guy says. He cited the steadfast defender exercise that ran from January through late May, saying that, and I'm quoting, for the first time, the enemy was not a fictitious, fictitious state, but Russia. Clear. Why? Because Russia has, uh, uh, you remember, uh, aspirations to take over other countries. And uh, because it attacked Ukraine, that means, uh, by definition, it's going to be the next one. I don't know, the Baltic states, then it's going to be who knows, knows, what else. But the United States, when it attacked uh, uh, Yugoslavia, it didn't happen. Oh, wait, they did it with Iraq. Oh, and then they did it with, with uh, um, Afghanistan. Oh, they did it with Libya. Oh, they did it with, with Syria. So that's a pattern. And now Iran. So yeah, that's right. For you, the ones that say, no, Russia is an imperialistic uh, desire to conquer the world like Adolf. Can you take a fucking mirror and look at you? 
Well, I don't blame them. You know why I don't blame them? I don't blame them because that's what a strong country would do. How do you become strong? By asking people to give you their land? No, you took over because we're stronger and you become stronger and stronger. And you see a challenger. What would you do with a challenger? Remember in the medieval times when you were a king with all your family, the usurper, the guy who wants to be he the king, what would he do? Why would you do to those guys? We're gonna f all of them, the family to the third, fifth generation possible if there was, you know, grandchildren and great grandchildren and so on. You just take them out. Why? Because if they would take over, they would do the same thing to you and your family. That's exactly the way it is. Why? Because all these wars are operated, designed by human beings. Human beings. You think they're different? A little bit here and there, but not that much. So the drills which were conducted near Russia's western border feature some 90,000 troops from all 32 NATO member states. And according to Gruchko, military budget are being pumped with money and Western economies are being militarized. The deputy foreign minister ins insisted that it was not Russia, but the North Atlantic Alliance that took the path of confrontation, I think in 1991. That's where it started. Boy, but re by refusing to engage in dialogue with Moscow, he concluded that NATO bears responsibility for a, and I'm quoting, major European security crisis. It's not going to be United States of America, it's going to be Europe. On Saturday, Germans developed a newspaper citing a confidential NATO planning document reported that in preparation for a potential conflict with Russia, the military bloc is planning to dramatically increase the number of combat and air defense units. <sighs> My friends, it's going that way. If you think, I realized direct experience and, you know, just paying attention around. If these guys want something, they don't care who you are. One of the clearest example was Ceausescu, how he was killed like a dog, like a dog, and I, he was a president. Nobody cared. He was just packed up, boom. And that's one. The other one is Gaddafi. They wanted him out. Look at Saddam. You can say, well, all these guys were bad. Yeah, but I think they, uh, um, if we are who we say we are, you know, a fair trial. Well, Saddam was uh, trialed, <laughs> like the Nuremberg trials. Exactly like that. The victors, please, my friends, the victor writes the history and the victor is always right, regardless who the victor is. You're not going to say, well, I won this war, but I was a bad dude. You tell me when in history that happened. Right here. In September, the Russian leader warned, however, that should Ukraine Western backers allow Kiev to use their missiles to hit targets deep inside Russia, and I'm quoting, it will mean nothing less than the direct participation of NATO countries, the US and the European countries in the conflict in Ukraine. So the guy points at you and says, uh, I'm going to do this if you do it. And oh, he's just kidding. What should you do? Go and vote. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's move to the next one. Uh, Russia Today. If you, if you, you could choose not to believe all, the, all these things, obviously, my, my point is go and verify and wait. Well, sometimes, you know, waiting too long is baboonish. UK and US helped Ukraine to plan, and I'm quoting, new Chernobyl Russian intelligence chief. He might be lying, but what if it happens? Kiev's forces wanted to destroy the Kursk nuclear power plant, Sergei Narishkin has said. British and American spies helped Ukraine develop plans to blow up the Kursk nuclear power plant, which would have plunged Europe, only Europe, into another radiation nightmare, the head of Russia's foreign intelligence services, SVR Sergei Narishkin, has said. Ukrainian troops crossed into Russian Kursk region, blah, 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 were stopped, according to intelligence obtained by the SVR. The planned terrorist attack included taking and mining the Kursk nuclear power plant. Well, what do you think? It says, had they been able to carry it out, Europe would have faced an environmental and humanitarian disaster comparable to Chernobyl. Next one. West intelligence train Ukrainian sabotage group for provocations at Russian nuclear power plants. Yes, I know this is from Sputnik and is the same thing as the Russian today, right? Of course, government Putin tells them exactly what to write. But is it true? Go and verify the truth tellers in the West, Western media the operatives, and you tell me what they reported. They reported exactly that, that these guys were trying to get to Kursk nuclear power plant. Why? 
or because the Russians got the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant? Okay, if I got the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant, remember about the, what the Ukrainians said? Well, the Russians want to blow it up. So that means if these guys took over, they took over to blow it up. But if the Ukrainians took over the Kursk nuclear, uh, nuclear power plant, they will not do that. Why? I tell you why. Because they, uh, how do you call it, designated themselves as the good. And the other one were designated by the same source as the bad. But uh, you can't have the same thing. You can't have the Russians saying, well, uh, we are the good, you are the bad. No, 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 no. The world community will say, no, that's not true. Because you invaded uh, Ukraine unprovoked. My problem is with the war between cousins, brothers, at the profit of businesses. This is what I think happens in Ukraine big time. And I disagree with that. All this garbage, uh, these guys attack this, why the Putin, the, 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 the main goal is this. You see this? Someone must own it. That's the plan. And that is interest, economic interest. And they use the mass media, their mass media, they use their politicians, they use their power. But you don't know the names exactly. You don't know, hey, that's the Rothschild, let's say. Mm. You don't know it's Tom Jones or Michael Jackson or who knows. No, you don't know them like that. I'm pretty sure the Russians know exactly who these guys are. We, we don't. Why don't we? Well, because that would uh, place it to a conspiracy theory. Right? Right. All right, let's go to the next um, Topic, report secret talks to end Ukraine conflict weighing Kiev's acceptance of land losses. And they say here that the Financial Times editorial, so this is the Financial Times saying this, board said in an op ad published on Monday that there are secret talks allegedly mulling the idea. Now listen to this bullshit. This is garbage. I don't think this is true. Of Ukraine giving up land that Russia gained in a conflict in exchange for Kiev being allowed to have certain NATO-like security guarantees. No. The Russians will never accept anymore, anymore, any NATO presence to its borders. Never. Never. Especially Ukraine. Do you think these are like that uh, joke that I used to tell you before? Told by an English guy, obviously. Uh, his name is, starts with a J. He said that, uh, you know, that, that Irish guy who wanted to swim the uh, English Channel, he, got, he swam halfway, he got tired, and he turned back. Do you think that's the Russians? Do you think the Russians had all this garbage, these guys tried to pull the Gaddafi on Putin, and now they're going to say, okay, you know what, let's go halfway. No, the Russians will not stop, if they can, to, uh, until they complete their four goals, unprovoked war on Ukraine. There's going to be no NATO in Ukraine. There's no, NATO, uh, Ukraine will never be, as far as I see it, um, independent and sovereign state again. It's either going to be under NATO's control, America's control, those interests, if these guys in, uh, in um, Russia will be overnight. That means Russia will be destroyed categorically. Controlled, not controlled, destroyed. It's going to be like controlled 100%. And military destroyed and all that. Uh, they, these guys were not going to take another chance. And U Ukraine was not going to be just, uh, so it's going to be the, taken over by these guys in the West, or Russia will take over. It's going to monitor it and control it again, 100%. It's going to be under the Russian occupation or under the US occupation. There's no way between. There's no way between. Do you think the Russians are going to take a chance again? These guys will try again to fuck them up. No, no. Next one. Here. Ukrainian sabotage, this is the last topic, sabotage damages Russian ship in Baltic Sea, Kiev says. A Ukrainian sabotage operation has damaged a Russian mine-sweeping vessel in Russia's Kaliningrad region and put it out of action, Ukraine's military spy agency said on Monday. This is October 7, 2024. Uh, 2024, correct, like, yeah. So it says that it was a second attack. It has been carried out on a Russian warship in the Baltic Sea this year. That's correct. Where is that located? Right here. This is the map of Europe. Here is Russia, obviously. Here is Kaliningrad, where right here is Kaliningrad. And this is the Baltic Sea. So this is according to the Ukrainians. Was it the Ukraine? Yeah, Ukraine's Pravda. That this is where it occurred. But we have here Poland, we have Lithuania, we have Latvia, we have Estonia, we have all these NATO countries, and Russia is right there. All right, my friends. I think we are heading straight 
two-way war that between uh, Russia and the United States of America. But the United States of America, because it's strong and it's courageous, will not go and say, you know what, everybody move to the side. You, are, you think you're tough? Let's fucking square things out. It's not, no, it's not doing that way. There will be a weak person doing it. Um, how do you call it? Not a smart person. A smart person nowadays act like this. I live like this. I'm going to beat you up. I can beat you up. Hey, minions, you go and fight. Okay, you go. And you weaken him. And after you weak, weaken him and you're all dead, I'm going to show up, grab him by the... Get him up from the... Smack him in the face. Ha! See? I'm the greatest. That's the way it is, my friends. That's exactly how it is. the way it is. It's my analogy with the circus trainer. The guys, you know, used to be, I went to a circus in Romania and they didn't have animals. They have only horses. Like, tick, 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 tick. I was like, where are they? I came here for the tigers, for the lions, for the elephants, for the monkeys, for the... I've been told they don't do it anymore because they would be like um, hurting the animals. I was like, holy f here we go again. I scared you, meow, meow. So, we're only baboons, which is human beings, <laughs> playing over there and I was like... I remember when I was a kid, all these things were available. Snakes, boas, pythons, all this. Nowadays, no, no, no. It's considered, you know, um, pita comes over and so on. So what are we going to do? Go back to, cave, uh, to cages? We're not going to kill any more, I don't know, uh, cows and pigs because we need to eat? No, you can't. It just leaves. But leaves are, are uh, living beings as well, coming from trees. All right. Oh, my God. It's so garbage. Anyway, so I went over there. And how do you do it? Those trainers used to have a long pole, if you remember old people, or people who are still normal in the, in the world, countries that are not following Romania's jerk-off policies. And not only, that was imposed by the delusional West. So you got the poles, I'm not saying to harm them, but uh, you, you want to eat? You want an omelette? Break some freaking eggs. All right, so you have long pole and a long whip. And the tiger or the lion would fight this. This is right, the brave guy over here. But they were fighting with this. He was smart, but he was not the guy fighting. He was pushing the other ones. It's like nowadays here, if you avoid responsibility, but you get the recognition, that means you're smart. Not a bitch. No, you're smart. Not a weasel. So if you go to, to work and something happens and you did it and it's wrong and you try to evade responsibility and point and get others in trouble and you tell your friends, wasn't I smart? No, you, was a, you were a piece of shit. And then if something happens good in the office, you try to, uh, blah, 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 and then, hey, it's me, I did it. Oh, great, yeah, you take responsibility for something you didn't do. You're called now not an asshole. You're called a smart guy, man. You're a smart guy. Both ways. Both ways. This is a society we're supposed to, hey, meritocracy and BS. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.